so what we're going to be using today is again this is a 24 inch vine fern teardrop i had gotten this last year for one of my from one of my suppliers and I think I've only made one design on it, so we're going to try today to make a sunflower design using this. So we're going to use one of those. We're going to use some, just some ficus leaves. I've got some boxwood sprays. I've got a couple of these um, eucalypt seeded eucalyptus. I have one blue 60919 so we're, we're going to make use of what we have so i'm going to use one of these i have this really pretty bundle of sunflowers so we're going to use these in the design and i have these little blue berry balls now the inspiration for this design or what i'm kind of focusing around is this super cute new bow that i just made i think i, I already sold one i think i got one more in the shop um, but I'm going to use this bow in this design. If I decide as we go that I want to add some more ribbon, I do have some blue and yellow ribbon, but I, I'm not sure if I want to add any extra ribbon to the design yet. So we'll see once we get going. So let's get started. Okay, I'm going to set the bow to the side. So what we're going to do first is I'm just going to take this was this already came like this with this greenery on it. So what I want to do is just kind of take and move this around a little bit so it's not laying flat. We'll utilize that. There we go. And I can't see comments. So if you guys comment, hopefully they'll come through. But right now I don't see them. Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit, and we, we don't necessarily have to do this. Um, I think my last design I didn't. I just glued um, all my picks and stuff into this twine um, sticks that they have here. But I saw this, and I thought, well, let's add a little bit of additional support. So this is just a grapevine um, bundle that I got either at Michael's or Hobby Lobby. I'm not sure which. So we're just going to add this. I'm just going to take and zip tie it just to give us some additional support as we glue our picks and sprays into it. So I'm just going to cut it right here. Let me find my big cutters. Just going to cut it. Okay, I'm going to set that to the side and I'm going to take a couple of zip ties we're just going to zip tie this in there. I'm going to kind of work around this greenery and this will just give us some additional support to tie our picks and sprays and flowers and all that into. So I'm just going to take this through there with the brown zip. I'm just using a brown zip tie. Get a little bit more of this that in really tight. Go. Okay, and I'm just going to go down the middle here and get another piece and zip tie this. If we need one at the bottom, I'll add one, but let's see how this looks. I think we'll be able to, to make it work with this. There we go, perfect. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna need that bottom one. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna turn these to the side. Okay, so I've taken that little piece of grapevine and in two places just zip tied it so now we have it as a little bit of extra support when we're sticking our picks and sprays and all that good stuff in there okay so since our bow is going to be 
the focal point and I'm gonna have it sit about right here. I'm gonna have some stuff coming to the top and then everything from the bow going down. So we're gonna start with our ficus. Ficus is always a good, a good base. So I'm actually going to take this whole stem, we're gonna put the whole stem in. Normally I would cut it up, but I think this is gonna work perfectly if we stick this whole stem in here. So I am gonna trim it down just a little bit. And let me just kind of stick this in here before I do any glue. And just make sure, yeah, that's gonna be perfect. Okay, so we have our ficus. I'm gonna take and add a little bit of hot glue where I stuck that in there. And then up here, I'm gonna get a small zip tie and just tie that in. Okay, I'm gonna turn that to the side. Okay, so we've got our ficus going to the top and around. Remember our bow is gonna be sitting here. So now let's add one to the bottom. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna have it hang down a little bit from our, give it some length, give our swag some length. So I think I found a good spot where I can just slide it up under there. Perfect, let me add a little bit of glue. And I'm gonna take another zip tie and zip tie the bottom. Okay. There we go. So here's our base so far. We have our ficus to the top. To the bottom. Perfect. Okay, so now let's take some of our boxwood and I am going to cut this up. So let me cut it into some pieces here. I, I brought two bushes, so we'll see how much we use. Now these do push up, so these are nice. We're not gonna need this really long stem. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna kind of put some of this into the top. We'll get our bow added in a minute. That'll help um, with where we place some of our greenery, but I wanna get some of this in first be a little bit, bit easier. Okay, so I did kind of made a triangle with that. I did one to the side, one to the top, one to the other side. I'm gonna go straight up the middle with this one. I'm just trimming these stems just a little bit because they're really long and we don't need them that long. I'm going to go straight down the middle. And let's go over to this side here. We'll go over to the side on this one. Like I said, guys, this is either gonna be this is either gonna be a hot mess or it's gonna be super cute. Hopefully, it turns out good. I'm just kind of winging it. Um. 
Okay, and I think I want to put another one down the center so that we have our bow. To, it doesn't look like there's nothing coming out of our bow. We want our bow to look like it's sitting in there. So I'm going to go ahead and put that up. Our bow is going to be like right here. So again, I'm just going to the sides. Let me check the back and make sure we don't have stems. See, so you always want to check the back. Like this one, I had a stem that came through. So we'll just trim it. I kind of felt that one when I put it in that it might have went through. We'll go this one to the side. Okay, so we're going to stop right there. I've got more we can add. I think we're going to need a little bit more to the sides, but um until we get our bow on let's let's hold off i'm just gonna mix these in there with that ficus perfect okay now let's do some going down on the bottom i'm going to start with the center Go to the go to the side, and I'm just pushing those right up through either that grapevine that we added or the the little twigs from our base. I'm just sliding them right up in there. Okay. All right. Let's cut up a couple more pieces. So this will be, if we use all of this, this will be two, two boxwood bushes, which I think we probably will use all of these because we'll use some to fill in um, as filler. Okay, I'm going to go up the center again, but just slightly off center from the last one. I don't want it to be matchy-matchy. Put one to the left and one to the right keeping sort of that triangle pattern. Got one to the left. I'm just cutting these stems down just a little bit. They're a little long. And one to the right. Okay. And like I said, we're probably going to add, let me go ahead and add, let's add two more to the sides over here. Give it some width. Do the same thing on the other side. And I got a little dab of glue on this leaf, so let me see if I can get it off. Yeah, it came off. Okay, perfect. I think I want to add a couple more pieces up here to the side. There's really no rules when you design. Just do what looks good to you. Have fun with it. Don't worry about it. Don't doesn't quite turn out right. It's okay. Somebody might like it. Okay. So I'm going to save these last couple pieces probably for the top. Actually, let's go ahead and just put them in there because I'm pretty sure we're going to need them. So I'm going to add a couple more pieces to the top. Just going out a little bit. Okay, 
I'm going to save these pieces for filler. Now we've got our seeded eucalyptus. So I'm going to cut these off. These push just a little bit, not like the boxwood, but they do push. And we did have some of these still in the shop, but I'm not sure if we do or not. Okay. Let's add a few of these. I think it's going to be easier to add this greenery before we add our bow, but I think we'll add our bow next. Let's, I want to add it before we do the sunflowers. So I'm just sticking this seeded eucalyptus, keeping that sort of triangle pattern going up here at the top. And in here. And down the middle. There we go. Now let's go to the bottom. Cut up another bush where you're going to use two of these seeded eucalyptus bushes. I'm just lifting up some of this other boxwood and just kind of intertwining this in there so it doesn't look like it's just sitting on top. We want to kind of make sure that it all looks like it's growing together. One up the center here. And on the side over here. Okay. I need to put something, if you guys can see on the camera, this, we've got some ficus that's really like sort of hanging out over here. So I'm going to give it a little bit of a bend so that it doesn't look like it's sticking out over on its own little island over there and then we'll add a little we'll add a little bit more of this boxwood to kind of cover up a little bit of that I guess make it look like it's all part of it let's add one right up in here Okay, so here's our base so far. Super full. Look what we've turned that pre-made base into already. Okay. Um, before we do the bow, I have this one blue 60919 left. I got these from Deco Craft Supplies. That's my affiliate link for Deco Exchange. And as soon as they get some more in, I'm going to be stocking up on them again. I bought a lot of the colors. I'm already, this was my last blue. So we're going to use this bigger piece to go up top. And we'll use the other two pieces to go on the bottom. So I'm just going to kind of fan this out. Take these branches. Give them a curl. Move these berries around. Okay. Now, I don't need the stem this long, so let me trim it. And we're going to slide this down in here. We may need to zip tie it. Let's see. Yeah, this stem is, is so much thicker. 
So I think we're going to zip tie this in there. So let me get a zip tie. I'm just going to take and zip tie the bottom of this stem in there. If I can get through here. Okay, so I've got that zip tied in there. Turn this to the side and I'm just going to kind of weave this in here so that it looks like it's all just growing in this greenery that we just added. And we don't want it to look like it's just sitting on top of, of this. So there's that. Now we've got the two smaller pieces. We'll add them down to the bottom. Like I said, I wish I would have had two of these, but I don't, so we're gonna use what, what I have. And again, I'm just moving these around and we'll just kind of put these to the right and left, kind of in the center. Let me see if I can get in here without using a, I think I can get in with this one without using a zip tie. Okay, and again, I'm just gonna move this around in the greenery. There we go. And let's add the other one on the other side. I'm trying to see if I can get it up in that grapevine that we added. That little grapevine stem that we added. There we go. So I just glued it in there. Let's mix these around. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Even without the bow on it, look how full and pretty this is. Super cute. Okay. Now let's add our bow. And we'll go from there. Because we still have the sunflowers to add and we have our um, blue little flower balls or thistles. I think they're thistles. Okay, so let's add our bow. Remember our bow's going to go right in here. So I'm just going to take and run these tight cleaners down the side in through that greenery. And I want the bow to sit just slightly at an angle like that. So I'm going to turn it and then tie this zip tie. And we'll clean up the back when, when we're done. I see I've got a couple of stems sticking out. Actually, I'm not. Let's do it now. I will come back though when we're done and make sure I've gotten everything. Okay. So we've got our bow. Here's how we're looking so far. You guys can see that. Super pretty. Now let's add our sunflowers. I don't know where I got these. I'm going to guess, let's see. This looks like maybe Walmart. Yes, I got these sunflowers at Walmart. I think I got them last year. They're super pretty. So we're gonna go ahead and use these. I don't like all the, some of the leaves on this, so we may cut some of those off, but the sunflower heads are really pretty. You guys can see they have 
they have nice, nice big sunflower heads. So, I'm just gonna stick them up there. Let's see how many. I think I'm going to do three up top and we've got two that I'm going to do at the bottom because we have five heads. So let me just kind of place these how we want them before we glue them. So I think I'll have one up here. Do three. I'm gonna do three up here. And then two at different lengths down here. Okay, so let's glue these in. So I know this one's gonna go up top. Get some I'm just dipping it in my glue pot. And I'm going to get in between these, this greenery and stick it in that, in that grapevine. I'm going to make sure, no, see, it didn't go in. Make sure I get it in really good so it doesn't come out. There we go. Okay, we have one right there. I'm gonna do one this way. I'm gonna cut the stem down a little bit. Dip it in my glue pot. And again, I'm gonna move in between these, this greenery, and stick it into this. make sure it didn't go through and it did so let's fix that I want it to make sure it goes right into that grapevine so that it doesn't come out okay Let's add our last one. It's going to sit right above the bow. I'm going to cut it down. And it's going to go right behind this, right behind the bow. All right. And now we have our last two. So we're going to put them at different lengths. This one will be a little bit shorter than the other one, so let me trim it just a hair. Okay, and our last one. it up underneath here. There we go. Look how pretty it is. You can see that. So cute. Okay, now let's add our last thing, which is our little blue thistles, our little thistle balls. These I, I did get at Walmart as well. I think I got them last year, um, but I, I've seen them. I've seen them every year, so if they're not in yet, they will be. So these are really pretty. So we're, we've got three of these. Get the tag off. Okay. This one has three stems on it. So, let's 
see if I can stick it up under the bow. It's got a really thick, I don't know if you guys can see the, the end of this is very thick. So I don't know how well it's gonna stick in this grapevine twig that we got in here. I may have to cut it up to get it in there. Yeah, let's just cut it. So I'm just going to add a couple of these Some little berries. Add one right up under the bow. these to the top. So I'm going to turn this around and we're going to just add a few of these to the top here. longer piece here, the longer piece here in the middle. And I'm bending, some of these I'm bending like, I'm bending them forward just to look like they've got, they're not laying flat. They've got a little bit of movement on them. Okay, I'm going to add one up here to the very top. One tiny little piece, we'll add it above the bow, right here in the middle of these sunflowers. There we go, guys. I don't think I'm going to add any extra ribbon. I had brought that blue and yellow ribbon if we wanted to add it, but I think it looks super pretty just like this. Just all florals and just the one bow. So... And I love how everything's just kind of moving. These are sticking out. We've got some little twigs. Um, our branches and our sunflower petals are popping forward. So I think we're just going to leave it like this. So I hope you guys enjoyed making this swag. I'm going to hang it up. Um, I always like to hang mine up and just like take a look and see once it's hung. If there's any pieces that might have some little holes. And then I'll just take and we'll just fill in with, we've got a few of these extra little greenery sprigs. And I actually see a hole right here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um, I'll just take and kind of fill in with some of these remaining pieces if I see any holes once it's hung up. Because things do look different once it's hung up. So, hope you guys enjoyed. And until next time. Bye guys.